Fort Childhood Museum opened in 2017. It displays everyday items such as perfume bottles, toys, house keys and diaries. Old or broken, colorful or not, they're not random pieces. They are a treasure trove of personal belongings once owned by children who lived through the Bosnian War. For many of the survivors who are participants in our collection, verdicts are also a source of inner peace, although, of course, only in part and not necessarily always. This desire for justice is always there when justice is seen as unattainable. There's still hope and a desire for justice to be somehow provided. The Gallery 110795 is a memorial art exhibition space located in Sarajevo. The public institution is dedicated to preserving the memory of the Srebrenica genocide, blending an artistic and realistic approach. Images, maps, audio and visual materials reveal what's left of Srebrenica after the genocide. When the war broke out, artists were no longer much interested in painting nudes or landscapes. Mevludinik Medjic was one of the many artists who started to depict the traumas of war. He mostly painted images that he saw on TV, since he had to leave his country. And it wasn't just Bosnians who used canvases to reflect what they felt or witnessed. Famous Scottish artist Peter Howson created The Massacre of Srebrenica 2019 and Bosnian Twilight, which revealed the brutal reality of what the artist described as his own personal hell. Where a few men are stranded between the two armies. No one knows who they are. And the tragedy has been the subject of many successful films. No Man's Land follows the story of two soldiers from opposing sides of the conflict. It won the Oscar for Best Foreign Language Film in 2001. To risk the lives of our soldiers in order to save theirs. Grbovica, The Land of My Dreams, tells the story of a Bosnian single parent who struggles to survive in Sarajevo while carrying a deep secret alongside the wounds of war. The movie won the Golden Bear at the 56th Berlin International Film Festival. The Sarajevo Film Festival was established in 1995 during the siege of Sarajevo. Although initially attendance was low, it was considered one of Europe's largest international film events. It attracts more than 100,000 people and screens hundreds of films from 60 countries. And then there is the Sarajevo War Theater, which was founded just 15 days after the siege of the city. As a Sarajevans, we felt completely rejected from the world, particularly from the United Nations. You know, we were left here. Art was very, and culture were very important parts. The Sarajevo War Theater is an epic example of how Bosnians needed art during tragedy. There were 2,000 theater performances during the war, and the organizers say the venue was always packed. Maybe it was because people needed to escape from reality for a while. But most likely, as the director says, society was fighting against the destruction of Sarajevo through art. Let's speak to artist Sheila Kameric. Hi Sheila, it's good to have you with us today. So, one of your key pieces, a Bosnian girl, is an icon of uh, the Bosnian war and the region coming from, uh, art coming from that region. Uh, it is a self-portrait, and there is a line written over it that reads, no teeth, a moustache, smell like shit, Bosnian girl. Obviously, it's everywhere in Bosnia, so it's, it's pretty famous, I'd say. What do you think when you look back on that work? Well, this work was made in 2003, so uh, in a time that passed, not many things changed. Uh, the prejudice and misogyny that comes with uh, the female position in this world is the same as the Bosnian circumstances which, which, uh, in which the, the graffiti was made remain the same. And that's the sad circumstances which we see nowadays. But uh, what is important for me is when I see this work now is to understand that this work is, uh, it comes from a very 
personal uh, point. It comes from a very, it, it is about me, but it's not about me uh, only. It is about any female, any anyone whose rights being denied. And it's, it tells a universal story about the prejudice and misogyny and the hate which led to the genocide in Srebrenica. And the, the biggest question nowadays is, who is that Bosnian girl today? Exactly. I was going to ask you that. I mean, do you see any improvements in uh, how Bosnian women, Bosnian girls are perceived globally since you made that work? The positions are different, of course, you know, because we are we, we do not live in a, the in the war. Bosnia and Herzegovina is not in the war today, but there are so many regions in the world which are in the world in the war and where the women are used as a territory or being perceived as a territory, being exploited and used and abused, and and um, that's that's actually what this work is about it it is about raising that question uh and unfortunately we are now uh in a position where uh, the wars are hidden away from the media in a way and and we don't talk about it so much because it's so politicized and the politics and the media doesn't actually allow certain topics to raise and that's where the art comes, and that's why I think and believe that art is a corrective of the society in which we can raise a subject which the politics and the media can't. So, um, yeah, we should look around ourselves and ask the question, who are those women and who are those who are not in a privileged positions and who need our help and 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 we should correct our behavior and try to help those in need. The thing is, Shayla, there are a lot of artists from the region, there are a lot of Bosnian artists who, artists who came up with works uh, regarding uh, the Bosnian war and their own uh, experiences, but then this particular one really, uh, you know, was very touching for a lot of people. And I feel like it was so brutal and it was unavoidable, so it really felt to be cathartic for Bosnians. Would you agree in that sense? What is important to mention is that this work was made in 2003, so long before the, the Srebrenica was, was uh, announced as a genocide, or recognized as a genocide in, in, in the court in Hague. So in that moment, when we did the, the Bosnian girl uh, uh, artwork and the, when Tarek Samarak took the photos of the graffitis in the, the Potocari, in the, the facilities which were used as uh, army barracks for the UN troops, that was the moment in which the local community the society in Bosnia and Herzegovina, as well as the international community, didn't have any empathy towards the, the what was what what happened in in Srebrenica, and the genocide was, as I said, like not recognized and not even um, perceived as something that that deserved empathy. So uh, many things changed now there is attention toward the, the, the subject, there is recognition of the gen genocide in Bosnia and Herzegovina or the Srebrenica is a proof of the genocide that happened in Bosnia and, Her and Herzegovina. So I, I believe that now our task is to use the powers we have to the art and culture as well as the other platform as you are to, to uh, educate people and bring attention towards the facts. Mm -hmm. Shayla, let me please jump in there. I'm sorry to cut you off. Shayla, let me please jump in there. I wonder what you think, what role can art play in creating empathy uh, about what happened in Bosnia? As I said, like we, uh, what is what is very useful is to use art as a corrective of the, of the society in which we can we can bring the truth and the facts that are proofs and facts 
and use them to educate people and to get their attention about the subjects which which, uh, which are very important to understand our context of lives in, in the society and the politics. Because very often we, we are faced with the reality in which the media or politics doesn't have that power to talk about the subjects which are important or even use the, those proofs and proof and facts to address the topics that needs to be true, uh, tr tr needs to be addressed. All right, Shayla Kamarich, it was lovely having you with us today. Thanks a lot for joining us. Thank you for having me. Bye-bye.